Hello guys, this is Jack Smack Dave from FireflyMC.net. Um, so I wanted to do a quick video tutorial on how uh, how our new shop plugin works, so that um, if uh, if any of our users want to uh, want to make a uh, a new shop, they can. Um, so this is a little example shop that I set up. Um, so it just has a little bit of uh, information about uh, how shops are, are used here. Items in the shop can be bought or sold, but you have to open the chest. So it doesn't work like a chest shop or how, how everybody seems to be used to doing it where you click on the signs. You're actually going to be opening the shop, the chests and interacting with the things inside. Okay, Prices, you don't have to worry about the prices anymore. They're set by the economy of the server shop. Okay, And um, if you want to learn more, uh, you're already on our website, so way to go, um, fireflymc.net. I'm going to do a good video tutorial here, and uh, and hopefully it'll get, bring you up to speed on how to use the chess shops. Okay, so uh, we have a buy shop here, okay? So it says buy and then my name, Jack Smack Dave, okay? You'll notice that my name's too long to fit on one line, so it just wraps down to the bottom, so I have a little E right there. Um, now... As the owner of this shop, if I open this chest, it's just going to be like a normal chest, okay? I can take things out of here, I can put things in, okay? Now, if I was not the owner of this chest and I, I came to this, I, it would be a, that's my dog, if it, it would be a buy chest, okay? Now, I, that means that I, as a customer, am going to buy things out of this chest. So anything that I click on in here or anything I scroll over will have a price. And if I click on it, it will add it to my inventory. Okay? But again, I'm the owner of it, so it's just a normal chest for me. A sell chest. Okay? A sell chest. Again, look at it from how a customer looks at it. The sell chest is going to be something where the customer is going to sell the owner items. So I, as Jack Smack Dave, I'm going to be buying items from this chest or in this chest. Okay. The way that a sell chest works is it will only buy items that are already in the chest. So as the owner, I decide what I want to buy and I put seed items in there to, uh, so, that, um, so that that's all that this chest will buy. So this chest will buy ice, it will buy coal, it will buy leather, and it will buy blue wool. But it won't buy like signs or, or chests. Okay? Now if I put a sign in there, now it will buy signs as well. Okay? But I don't want that, so I'm going to take that sign out of there. Okay, so if a customer came up to this, they would open up the chest and they would be able to drag items into the chest. And then I w the money would be taken out of my account and paid to them, just like they interacted with the admin shop. Okay. Now, a trade chest. Trade is a combination of both the buy and the sell chests. Okay. So, in a trade chest, you put seed items in. Okay. So, oh, I want to buy blue wool, so I got to put that blue wool in there. Okay. So... Basically, what will happen is people will be able to buy the items that are in the chest, but I don't think they'll be able to buy the very last one. Okay, I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I don't think they can buy that last one because it's the seed item. Now, uh, if they uh, if they want to sell things, they can they can click and drag those in there, and it'll sell them. Okay, and you'll you'll pay for them. Okay. But if um, if they want to buy things, they just click on them and they they take them out of there. Okay, so it works just like a buy and a sell chest combined. Okay, so if you're only wanting to gain items, use a sell chest. If you're only wanting to get rid of items, use a buy chest. If you don't care and you just want to have transactions, use a trade chest. Okay, now you'll there's a, a chest here that has a has a price at the top of it. Okay, a hundred thousand dollars. It's a bit high, but it's an example, and I don't want people um, people actually using the chest. Okay, so this this example here, um, if you uh, if you set up your sign like that, everything that's in the chest is going to be that price. So in here we have a one hundred thousand dollar compass, a one hundred thousand dollar piece of coal, 
and a $100,000 block of blue wool. Okay. Now, each one of these is $100,000. The price, you can set that to be anything you want to. You have to put dollar symbol and then a number. Um, and then anything that's in there will cost exa exactly that price. Okay. So like, let's say you had a beacon you wanted to sell. You could put just the beacon in the chest and then set the price to whatever you want to sell that beacon for and just walk away and leave your, uh, leave your shop. And hopefully somebody will come and buy your beacon. But they'll, they'll have to look in here to see what's in the chest. Okay, so to, just to break it down, the, uh, the shop signs are set up like this. On the first line, the price for, again, every item in the chest. So, you know, if it's $10, everything in there is going to cost $10, even if you could get $11 for it if you sold it at the admin shop price. Okay? The second line either needs to say buy, sell, or trade, okay? And you leave lines three and four blank because they're auto-filled with your name, okay? So I'm just gonna do a quick example here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up a couple of chests here, okay? Now, you'll notice when I set those chests up that it says created a private chest successfully, okay? I don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to change it to C, modify, okay? So this is the LWC plugin. See, modify, public. Okay, so now this chest can be opened by anybody. Okay, I have to do this one too. Okay, so now both of these chests can be opened by anybody. And that's really important because if the chest is locked, nobody's able to use your store. Okay, so I will put a sign above this one. And let's say that we want this one to be a buy. So Buy. That's all I that's all I put in there. Okay? And then I hit done. Now it just comes up buy Jack's Mac Day. Okay, and then I would put the items I want to sell to other players inside of that chest. And that's it. Now let's say that let's say that I didn't want to do that, but let's say I already have something in the chest. Okay, and I try and put a sign on it. Okay, so let's say this is a cell. Okay. okay, it comes up with this error message, you must use an empty chest. So you can't put items in it first. You have to always start with an empty chest. Okay, let me pop that. There we go. Okay, so now if I put cell on there, boom, it works. Okay, so then I can put my items in there to sell. Okay, or to actually buy from other customers. The, the buy, as the person who made the sign, the buy means you're selling these items. The sell means you're buying them from, from players. Okay, uh, and over here we have one last thing to cover. The, um, the shop menu command. So slash shop menu. Okay, you'll notice that this is empty. That's because I haven't added anything to the uh, command portion of this shop. Okay. You can do that if you want to, but you're going to have to check out the command list because uh, I'm not going to do a video tutorial on that. Um, but basically, the, the chests are a lot easier to use and quicker to use for most people. Um, if you're interested in doing something more complicated, obviously, you're going to have to, uh, to take your own initiative there and, um, and, and learn the commands. Uh, but I will, link to the, uh, I will link to the commands in the description. So... Hopefully you guys uh, have uh, have learned something from this tutorial. Um, and again, this was uh, Jack Smack Dave from FireflyMC.net. Um, please come and play if you haven't uh, if you haven't already. But uh, this was basically a tutorial made for uh, for our users uh, here on our server because we really care about them. So, um, all right, I'll see you around.